You're looking at Otter Valley, head coach Bob Walsh, as we're in the championship game of the MSA Tip-Off Tournament 2006, and it should be a wild one tonight. It's Fairhaven and Otter Valley get together for the team to see who's going to win the title here tonight, and we're going to have the introductions done by Marty McDonough, and I'll go to outside Mike now. Starting at guard, number five, senior, Ross Jacobowski. Also at guard, number 20, junior, Austin Ortola. Starting at forward, number 12, senior, Dustin Hutchinson. Also at forward, number 15, senior, Corey Robinson. And the third forward in the line, number 24, junior, Tom Markowski. High bail was coached by Bob Hall. catch in the beginning, Iron Valley being a blue uniform, Fairhaven in a white, Fairhaven defeated MSJ to get to the uh, championship game, and Iron Valley defeated Montpelier to get here, and again, familiar foes, should be a dandy game. Eight minute quarters, overtime until we have a winner, and we're set to go, Ball's up in the air, and he gets controlled by Otter Valley. This is Rotola with the basketball. He'll bring it into the front court. And it looks like we're going to man-to-man -man defense early on here by Fairhaven. Coached by Bob Prenovos. It's an outstanding coach. A little different team that we, than what we've seen from Fairhaven in the past years where they've had some real height. Slashing to the bucket. And Otter Valley will take a 2-0 lead. And some soft pressure in the back court. And Rotola will back up now as we will have number 24 bringing the ball up for Fairhaven. That's Dennehy. They're gonna dump it down, play a little low post basketball. So I say this is a much more athletic, a little faster, a little speedier Fairhaven team than what we saw last year in the championship game here at the tip-off tournament. No shot clock, State of Vermont. Do nothing on the lead first quarter action. I will read. That's Grimes, fakes, puts it up, and a little bit off the mark, and then the rebound taken out of there by Otter Valley, and Lertola will bring the ball down. That was Robinson. Corey Robinson, 15, they got the rebound. That's Jacobowski, he'll turn fire and little juiced, little strong, shot off the mark. Jacobowski, an outstanding shooter, both Ross and Grant Jacobowski, very good shooters. They'll just work it around, that's gonna be 13, Standard. Sam Standard had a big game against MSJ. Catch the shot and rebound coming down on the floor, Under Valley with the basketball. Six and a half to go in the first quarter. We played a minute and a half. The winner will take the championship trophy home for 2006. Good crowd on hand. Very vocal, very rowdy, very knowledgeable basketball fans from Fairhaven and Otter Valley area. Up and that might have been partially blocked from behind. Otter Valley will retrieve the ball though. Jacobowski will come back to Latola now. He'll work between circles, had a screen set. They wanted to roll off it. The defense didn't react where they needed it. Now they'll send somebody through the paint, knocked away, retrieved and recovered by Otter Valley, because that was number 12, Hutchinson, who had the basketball behind the back and got a foul. First foul of the game. As Justin Lertola was fouled and no shots coming up. It's just going to be ball on the baseline out of bounds to Otter Valley. So the Otters will send Robinson 15 to bring the ball out of bounds, looks like. No, it's Jacobowski. Robinson went down in the corner. And Came up top, spin, and stripped to the basketball. For Haven will have the takeaway, and they'll bring the ball up, trying to set up their offense now, get things going. I think both teams, you know, are very functional in half-court sets, but I think both teams wouldn't mind to get a little flow, a little transition going. We've got a travel call and a turnover on Otter Valley. That was number 22, Aaron Reed, that 
call for the travel. Now, like I said, we have in a moment we'll have a couple of Jacobowski's in there together. Right now, number five out there, Ross Jacobowski in a game, and Grant Jacobowski wearing zero tonight will be coming into the game at the next opportunity. He's at the scores table right now for the Otters. Have that two nothing lead. Lertola with the basketball brings a pass to the side and. I'll do both teams' rosters throughout the night in the timeouts. This is a three ball. Front rim, no good. Rebound, Standard to the floor and loose jump ball. Sam Standard got in there and got tied up. And now we will have the switch. It's going to be Jacobowski for Jacobowski, so actually we will not have both Jacobowskis out there at once. But we will have the ball brought up by Dennehy. Morgan Dennehy with the basketball crossing the timeline, and the Tola stayed off him pretty good. And this will be Schneider, 31 at the touch. Grimes with the basketball. They bring it back over to this right elbow. They want to go down inside. That's tipped and taken away by the Otters. They'll go to Jacobowski, far side, and he'll get the push. The Tola open, pulled it back down, didn't take the shot. That's a long pass, fire corner, baseline, sealed away. The spin by Lertola, and then a kick defensively. Ball goes out of bounds, no damage done. And they will make the switch now as they'll bring their Tola out of the game and they'll bring back in Ross Jacobowski. Now we have both Grant and Ross Jacobowski out there for Otter Valley. Ross Jacobowski will steer the offense from between the center circles. Tom Markowski in there, number 24 also for Otter Valley. They tried to go down inside to Robinson. Ball went off his hands. Four and a half to go. Two nothing Otter Valley. Three ball up and got it! All twine right there. Morgan Dennehy will put Otter Valley on the downside of a 3-2 score as for Havens for his basket. Comes from the three-point arc. And going to count it. They're going to count it. I'm waiting. They're saying three and everybody's waiting. Basket's good. So Jacob Bowski will answer a three ball with a three ball and be fouled. Oh, this is confusing. They said the basket's good. Okay, five to three. But then the foul came not on the shot after the basket on the baseline. And they gave Otter Valley back possession, but they turned the ball over. So Otter Valley had a great opportunity right there, but the good defense by Fairhaven. Grimes passed up the shot. That standard turns, rims out, rebound, fought for, and controlled by Jacobowski. Here's the push down the floor. Glides in the front court. Goes around baseline. He's going to get fouled just so fast. Both Jacobowskis I've watched play over many, many years from fifth grade tournaments through the uh, Glazik tournaments, the Rutland Rack tournaments, and boy, they are good. Standard's going to sit down and take a breather for Fairhaven as he'll take a break with the 348 left to play mark here in the first quarter. 5-3 on the rally. Robinson stripped of the ball and here comes Grimes up and fouled. And Alex Grimes with that long stride and that quick explosive step going up to the line and he's gonna be getting a couple shots now. So Grimes of Fairhaven awarded two shots and that's gonna be the First foul on Otter Valley, three on Fairhaven, and Grimes' first shot will be up, and a little strong. Could be a little jacked right now, as is gonna come in for Otter Valley and replace Grant Jacobowski. And both teams, a little tight, like you'd expect, to start with championship game. Got it. Makes it 5-4, Grimes gets the second free throw to drop, Lertola with the basketball. And Again, when he's in there, he'll run the point and he'll go to the right side. Looking for Jacobowski. He thought about a shot and then he looked down inside. Nothing open, didn't force a ball. Lertola will just work it out to the left side. Markowski with the touch, back to Lertola, and they'll just be impatient offensively right now. Oh, great block from behind. I think it was Grimes that got it. No foul. Good job keeping body space between him and the offensive player, and the ball will be belonging to Otter Valley down in that corner. Right in front of the, or right near the Fairhaven bench. Lertola will bring the ball around, and Jacobowski saw Murkowski flashing him the ball, and then on the spin, it's going to be slapped out of bounds by number 22, Aaron Reed of Fairhaven, stays with Otter Valley. Jacobowski looking, 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 and boy, Lertola got it. I'm not sure how it didn't get tipped or intercepted. Markowski stepped toward the basket, kicked it back out between circles for Lertola, and 
Again, no shot clock, don't forget. Huh? They're running a very good, very patient offense right now. They're up five to four in the first quarter of play, 2.55 to go in that first quarter. That's tipped around and hired off the glass, rebound up and blocked out of bounds. And I believe it was Grimes again who blocked the ball out of bounds. And that's a couple chances down low and a couple rejections. Ball stays with the Otters and no, oh yeah. That's some twine right there as Tom Markowski smokes the net here and makes it 7 4 Otter Valley. I said, this is going to be a dandy between these two old foes. Well, great job getting the ball up and inside and the rebound still being fought for. Now everybody hitting the floor. Everybody hitting the floor. Yeah, what happened was the ball came in contact with Morgan Dennehy of Fairhaven, and he was out of bounds. His foot was out of bounds. Thus, the ball's out of bounds, and the ball belongs now to Otter Valley with that 7-4 lead, and Lertola with the basketball. Great fan support from both these schools. And this is Jacob Owski with the ball number, or number zero is zero, and his pass was not tipped. It's a turnover, and Fairhaven We'll bring the ball up with no pressure this time as Dennehy, Morgan Dennehy, number 24 for the Slaters, working against one of the Jacobowskis, Ross. Ross is five. And no, boy, I think it was halfway down, popped out. We got a foul on the rebounding action. And it looks like it'll be on the Otter Valley Otters. It's going to be Lertola with the push. Ball out on baseline to Fairhaven. Dennehy will bring the ball into play, and he'll look, 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 and tipped, and great effort. Great effort. Aaron Reed got in away just enough to keep Lertola from the ball. Lertola will have to wait a second here before they bring the ball into play. They're going to have number 21 for Fairhaven. I don't have a 21. Oh, sorry. No, I don't. I'll have to check that out because I don't have a 21. Grimes is going to come out. I have a 25, and he is going to take a breather. And I can see a lot of the other people don't have a 21 on their roster either. Dennehy pivots. Jacob Bowski there on him defensively. And you can see 31 right there. Schneider and nope. They got the rebound. Robinson up high and hard. Got the basketball. Neil Allett to Jacob Bowski. Minute and a half to go over Latola. First quarter. And Honor Valley with that three point lead. Jacob Bowski for a three pointer. Got it. And he'll do that all night. You've got to extend the defender on him out there. 10-4, and Denny almost got it tipped away. That's going to be shy in the rebound. The second chance was just up and over and through the defense was 24. Morgan Denny trying to rebound and shoot all in the same motion. Didn't get that to happen, but pretty darn impressive to watch. Minute 10 to go, first quarter action, and things starting to loosen up now. They were tight in the beginning, like you'd expect in a championship game. But both teams starting to really flow now. Jacobowski with the ball on that far side. Not repeating myself, but that's Jacobowski with the ball now. Both Jacobowski's out there. The pass back intercepted, and here comes Fairhaven. They want to go long and over the top, and Fairhaven realized that they didn't get the opportunity. Otter Valley got back in good transitional defense, and Denny, he comes over to this side, and they'll work it down, up, and in. Couldn't tell you who he was. Don't have him on my roster, but I will find out who number 21 is at the break between quarters. 29 seconds to go, 10-6. Now Otter Valley with the ball in the lead in the first quarter, and this is Robinson Lertola. He can hit from out there. Pulled the ball back down, 20 seconds and counting. Jacob Bowski. All right, idea. Ball tipped away, and it's going to be off from Dennehy of Fairhaven out of bounds, and the ball will belong with 14 seconds to go to Otter Valley. They'll take the ball outside out, actually, in front of the Fairhaven bench. The catch, the shot, and the results are two points. Tom Markowski will get it 12 6 now, Otter Valley. Five seconds, four seconds, three, two, and no. We're going to have an Otter Valley 12 6 lead at the end of the first quarter in a championship game. She Coach Bob Prenovost in a huddle still between first and second quarter. Christian Dorn is number 21. For Fairhaven, just got on the varsity squad. I was told the scorekeeper, nice job, thank you very much. So Dorn is number 21 for the Slaters. Slaters in the white, they'll have the ball. Grimes out there, 
25, he'll bring the ball into play side out. Fairhaven limited to just six points in that first quarter of play. Otter Valley with 12, and they've got the lead. Fairhaven coming out with a whole new group here as that shot from the three-point arc. No good. Rebound comes down to Markowski, and here comes Jacobowski with a quick push between circles, hands the ball off to Lotola. Joel Hernandez out there, number 23 for Fairhaven. His first action of the evening coming here in the second quarter of play. Jerry Munger bringing you this high school basketball game, championship game of the MSJ tip-off tournament from MSJ's Common Avenue Gym. Both Jacobowski's, Ross and Grant out there. There's the spin and the collision and then the slide out of bounds and it's going to be Fairhaven basketball. Robinson, number 15, Corey Robinson coming back in for Otter Valley and replace Grant Jacobowski. So after a very brief rest, of less than a minute. We'll see Robinson back in the ball game. This is Hernandez, number 23 with the ball, being picked up by Grant Jacobowski, number five. I'm sorry, that's Ross Jacobowski, number five. That's going to be a steal by Jacobowski to the hole, to the finish, and he got it. Explosive. Speed, speed, speed. 14-6, Otter Valley with the lead. 6.57 to go, second quarter action. And I will stick around once the game is concluded and get the teams being presented their trophies. And they were looking for Grimes inside, who's already got a couple blocks tonight. And the ball was knocked away by Markowski. Now they've switched up Jacobowski's. Ross is out and Grant is in. Grant is zero and Ross is number five. Fairhaven on the baseline. Oh, somebody fell asleep defensively. And Jesse Taggart, Jess Taggart with an easy bunny shot makes it 14 to eight now. Fairhaven with that bucket, cutting the lead to six. Up and Jacobowski got it. And both of them are just snipers from outside. That's why when both Jacobowskis are in there, you've got to take a body count and mark up and find the man on the perimeter named Jacobowski. And that pass set up, a three-point attempt, no good. Tipped around, Jacobowski with the ball. Caught and threw the blast out all in one motion, and it got it. Lertola with a strong finish, even though he must have heard the footsteps coming behind him as Hernandez brings the ball over the timeline. That's a nice catch. As Schneider got the ball, number 31. He got it from Taggart, number 30. And for Fairhaven now, we've got Dennehy, 24, coming back in. And I know there's another number I missed. Oh, 14, I'm sorry. Condit, Tyler Condit coming in. Remember a lot of those names from the soccer season this past year. So they're waiting for uh, dress code, jersey, or your, yeah, your jersey your, has to be tucked in. That's a nice catch out there. And they'll set up now. Dennehy looked inside, pump fake, came on the side of Hernandez. Fairhaven with the ball down. 19 to 8 and almost a steal by Jacobowski. Ross Jacobowski, number five out there. <clears throat> Again, great crowd support here from both Fairhaven and Otter Valley schools. And that pass whipped over to the side. Hernandez can't penetrate. It's Jacobowski moving those feet defensively. Yep. Yep. Wave off the basket. There's a fall. Condit called for the foul well, well before the shot. The referee made sure he heard it and hollered it. <clears throat> That's Markowski out of the game now for Otter Valley. He'll take a breather and I'll try to catch up to the substitution. It's number 11, Eric, Eli Christian. Well, wait a minute. Can't read my handwriting. Christiana, Eli Christiana got travel call on Jacobowski turnover. It's number 11, Eli Christiana coming in for the Otters, ball side out, and you can see right there, it's gonna be Tyler Condit, number 14, bringing the ball into Dennehy. So Morgan Dennehy, no problem breaking the timeline. Gets the ball out to Condit. Condit looking inside, and Jacobowski right up on him, and Robinson with the steal, the spin, and the basket and the fall! Robinson, chance for a three-point play. I'll tell you what, that's the cake and the frosting right there as he made the steal Robinson did, made the basket Robinson did, and got fouled Robinson did. 21 to eight now, largest lead the game, 13 for Honor Valley, and a chance here to extend it, and the shot up, and no. 
Grimes will clear the rebound, get it to Condon. He'll get the dribble over to Denny, and Denny now will be picked up at midcourt by Honor Valley's number 12 out there. And then, of course, that's Hutchinson. They try to push the ball inside. We're going to have a foul on Honor Valley. It'll be Ross Jacobowski, number five, with the foul. As Lertola will come in, number 20, for Honor Valley. And Dustin Hutchinson will leave, and Grant Jacobowski will leave. Dennehy on the drive. Dennehy up, and Dennehy a little off on the shot rebound. Comes down to Fairhaven, turns, fires, might have been tipped. Comes down to Lertola. He'll fake the pass, open up the dribble, and cross the timeline. Dennehy was on him defensively. Now Lertola up, shot, no. Rebound, tipped around, Brums down. Hernandez of Fairhaven goes behind the back. Pressure will drop off now, and he'll be picked up in a normal half-court set. Grimes for a three ball. Got it! So Grimes with a couple blocks shows you his versatility. He's a multitasker as he'll step outside and hit the three ball. 21-11 now, Honor Valley. And there it is. That's the other way! Jacobowski, number five, Ross Jacobowski, answers a three for a three. He's done that twice tonight. When Fairhaven's got a three-point shot, Jacobowski's come down and matched it. Goes to 24-11, looking for Hernandez. Goes off from his hands out of bounds. There's a high, hard pass to control. Also, the fact that Robinson got his body in front of the receiver. He might have actually screened him on the play. And the ball now goes over to Lertola and Honor Valley. In the blue uniforms with that 13-point lead, there's Jacobowski with the touch. We'll go back to Lertola. As Lertola barks out some signals, directs some traffic, and goes off the side to Markowski. Jacobowski wanted to give it back. That was covered. Puts it on the floor. Jacobowski penetrates up, and no, can't get the finish. Rebound will come down, and Fairhaven looking for the push will go to Dennehy. Rebound came down to Schneider, 31. He got the outlet pass quickly away. That's going to be... Save from going out of bounds. For Haven will have the ball and pushes it inside. Too hard off the glass. Everything but the bucket. Everything but the bucket. Flirtola to Grant Jacobowski. No, not this time. One of the rare misses from outside. Fight for the rebound and a foul being called. As Tom Markowski called on the foul. And Doran coming back in, number 21. Christian Doring, number 21 for Fairhaven. And it's pressed now as they go full court pressure defense. Honor Valley does. It's been intense. We have 3.14 to go in the half. Fairhaven down by 13. But I tell you what, they got the ball down inside to Doring real quick. He got fouled. And I think they called that on. Lutola, it's his, only his second foul, team's fifth. Both teams with five fouls. As Denny, he will take the ball out of bounds. Nothing open inside. Now Robinson slapped the ball away, and we've got a foul called down inside. That'll be on Robinson on the hack, and the ball will go out of bounds. It's a sixth foul. Next foul committed by Ider Valley, unless it's a player control foul or an offensive foul, will lead to a one and one for Fairhaven as Dennehy. Nothing inside, came up to Grimes. Grimes looked, pumped, didn't send the pass down. They work it back around the perimeter. Denny trying to penetrate, and the ball tipped away. Denny with the ball back to Dorn. He'll go inside, great pass. Up, and the pass down. It's time, he got it! Grimes with the finish, but a beautiful pass. And what I thought was initially a shot, and it was just a little shovel pass off. And 24-13 now, the lead down to 11 for Haven on the defense and trailing. They're in the white uniforms, out of rally in the blue. Title game, tip-off tournament. Jerry Munger bringing this high school basketball game. And that's tipped around, tipped around, and Fairhaven finally gets all that hot potato. It's Grimes with one dribble, and then goes to Dennehy. Dennehy, oh, dragged that back foot, didn't get called for the travel, and Grimes. He'll come up to Schneider. Schneider looked off the original pass between the circles, brought it down in the corner to Dennehy. That's a tough shot, he nailed it. That was with a man right in his face. 24-15, and that brings Ross Jacobowski off the bench very quickly after a very brief rest. Markowski looking for something to do with the ball, came back, and Rob, and whoa, that's not Robinson, I'm sorry. Let me get the right number here. That was Hutchinson able to avoid the turnover. Comes back to Lertola, and boy, he's quick. 
darts around out there as they want Jacobowski inside to Robinson. Strong move, double touches and gets the bucket. Corey Robinson with the basket. This is Reed with the ball. Aaron Reed, number 22. To Grimes, he dumped it inside back to Grimes. Not this time. He's got one three ball already. Yeah, and what we have is a hold call. They had a piece of the jersey as Doran picks up his first foul, team six. Each team now with six fouls as there's a minute 28 to go in this first half of play. And the ball will be taken out of bounds by Hutchinson. And Hutchinson with the pass and bounce for Lertola. He won't be picked up until he crosses the timeline. And then what they've got in zone defense now for Haven has Lertola. You can see they put at the top Dorn, the big tall guy. He's got to be at least 6'7", possibly 6'8". Honor Valley with the ball, the lead, and being very patient right now. They flashed Robinson through the paint. He was open. They didn't deliver him the ball. That's just a very small window of opportunity when you come through the paint. When you're open, that's a tough shot. That almost went. Hutchinson. Yeah, going to get two shots. That's a great move right there. He got in there, and he just played like a seven-footer. And Dustin Hutchinson will be at the line. He's awarded two free throws, shot, fouled in the act of shooting. And all this happening with just 59 seconds left on the clock and a half. Hernandez at the scores table, ready to check him for Fairhaven. That shot off the mark. And that will bring Dennehy out. He picked up two fouls. And this is a good move here by Bob Prenovos, the head coach of Fairhaven. And he's made many over his career. He doesn't need me to say he has, but. My point was he didn't want Dennehy to pick up his third fall with just 59 seconds to go. Missed them both, missed them both. Robinson fakes, fades, and got it! Robinson with the offensive rebound and the pretty bank shot makes it 28-15 on her valley. Hernandez behind the back will spin. Jacobowski on him defensively. That's Ross, I believe, off the check. Yes, five is Ross, Jacobowski. Grimes. Goes to Reed, 39 seconds left in the half, but come up top and yeah, okay, we're looking for Doran, was looking down inside and they rotate it around now. I'm sure they're trying to get Doran down along the paint on the blocks. That's gonna be rimmed out and there's Doran up and I'll tell you what, he's, when he gets a little more polished, Doran 21, he's gonna be some lethal down there. Lertola with 13 seconds is going to hold for the last shot. He'll pull it out and set the table now for the offense. Nine seconds, eight, Honor Valley. Last possession of the half. Three, two, Lertola from way outside hit the ceiling. That's why I couldn't find the ball, but it's going to be Honor Valley with a 28-15 halftime lead over Fairhaven in the championship game. Jerry Munger bringing you this game from Mount St. Joseph Academy in the tip-off tournament. 2006. The basketball to start this third quarter play. They have that 13 point lead and they've got their original starters, Lertola, Robinson, Hutchinson with the ball right now, number 12, Jacobowski, and I'm looking, 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 Markowski. There we go. As you can see, Markowski, they get a very patient flex offense being ran by Otter Valley. A little different styles in the two teams here. But I think one of the big things was that Honor Valley got off to a good start, but when Fairhaven put together, tried to put together a run, and I'm thinking of Ross Jacobowski specifically, when Fairhaven two different times hit a three-point shot, Jacobowski came down and answered it with a three-point shot, kind of evening off or quelling the run by Fairhaven. That's why I think those were very important each shot. Jacobowski didn't let Fair even get a run going. Boy, Fair even putting on a clinic right now as far as possession and offensive rebounds and second chances, but no basket coming of it. As Hutchinson will chase it down, go to Lertola. To Jacobowski, works off a screen, wanted to go baseline, and the ball slapped away from behind, goes out of bounds, stays with Otter Valley in the blue uniforms. They'll have it on the baseline and lob it up top. Nothing happening inside. They'll be very patient in Robinson. To Lertola, to the bucket, and nope. Long shot, long rebound. Grimes with the basketball. We'll look for the outlet. We'll go to Dennehy now. Dennehy ran the point very effectively in that first half for Honor Valley. You see, he went to Standard. Now, Standard didn't play a lot in that first half. He had a good first quarter, but he didn't see a lot of action. Up, and there's the finish. That's Reed, I believe. Aaron Reed, 22, got the finish that time as they worked the ball all the way around, reversed it, slid it inside, and he got the little bunny. 
28-17. Fairhaven's cut the lead to 11. Jacob Owski with the ball, and he sees Markowski flash, Hutchison flash, and neither one were really open. He want to force the issue. No shot clock, State of Vermont. Markowski with the touch, and now Ross Jacobowski, number five. And I'll have to check and make sure that is Ross. Yes, it is. As Lertola works the ball around, and Fairhaven being very patient defensively, not overcommitting here. Grimes sealed off the penetration and goes back down below the arc. Lertola with the ball up at the logo at midcourt. And Hunter Valley, a long time of possession here in their offensive end. Jacobowski wanted to penetrate, and again, Standard moving those feet took away any chance for him to slide through and get into the paint. They'll work it back around, and right now, that's going to be one of the problems right there. When you try to penetrate through the, the hinge of the zone, it'll pinch like that, and they strip the ball. And Fairhaven that time, excellent job of not overcommitting and moving the feet defensively and got the turnover. Dennehy with the ball, and he needs some help. He'll find Reed. Reed, all goes back baseline. They're trying to bring it around. Reed up, and no. Off the front of the rim, Standard with a hand on it, Standard with the basketball. He'll look, think about it, pull the shot back down for Haven. Much crisper passing, much quicker movement offensively here to start the third quarter. Danahy up, 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 and no. He had to go over the leaping defender, put a little extra arc on the ball, tried to kiss it off the glass, and just couldn't get it to cooperate with him. Jacobowski has it, rejected out on the block. Two on two right now, and then a foul. Standard will hit the deck, but it was the block that started the run, and you can see the call. Ball on the baseline. First foul of the second half. We played almost evenly, just about three minutes here of this third quarter. 28-17. On the rally with the lead for Haven with the ball. Standard with the shot. Standard, not this time, and it's going to be saved. Reed fouled, and should be some shots coming up for Aaron Reed. As Hutchinson, I believe, will be called 12. 1-2. Yeah. And no shots, I'm sorry. Ball on the baseline, out of bounds. I did get that, it was Hutchinson, his second foul, and the second foul of the half. He's got both fouls here in this third quarter of play. Grimes had the touch, they swung it around, and Dennehy for two, no. He had a good look, he squared up. It was a great decision to take the shot, but again, it just didn't want to happen. Jacobowski with the ball, and Anirella looking for the first basket of this second half. Jacobowski to Lertola. And Fairhaven, if there is momentum switching, and I'm, the scoreboard wouldn't indicate it, went from a 13 to 11 point lead, it's all got a travel call on Robinson. Uh, it's Fairhaven coming out, it seems a little more juiced, have a little more garlic in their step right now. And Grant Jacobowski coming in for Ross Jacobowski for Honor Valley. Reed with the touch, we'll give the ball right back to Dennehy, and with 4.05 to go, we've just now hit the midway point in four minutes. That's going to be a foul on Jacobowski. That's a foul. Walk we'll away from the ball on a reach. So Grant Jacobowski will pick up his second foul. Team's third. No Fairhaven with no fouls yet as a team here in his second half of play. Standard to Dennehy. Goes backcourt. Make defender does not follow. And he'll swing it on that side. And the baseline, the fake. And got a Foul called. As Schneider got down in no man's land with nothing to do, and that's quickly the fourth foul on Otter Valley. And that's huge with 3.52 to go in the third quarter. So you basically have a quarter and a half to go, and you're already at four fouls. At 17 fouls, you shoot. Oh, what a great, tremendous play. That was Robinson that knocked the ball away, then saved it from going out of bounds, and should be white basketball. Be taken out by Dennehy, number 24, for Fairhaven. He looked inside for Grimes, gets him the basketball, and that was a tough shot. Grimes trying to keep it alive on the board. He's got another hand on it, but it will now become Lertola and Honor Valley's basketball. They go into the front court unimpeded, no problem. And Jacobowski, Grant Jacobowski with the ball. Ross Jacobowski at the scores table, getting ready to check back in. Three ball, not this time, and the rebound. It's going to be Robinson picking up foul number three. Push from behind on the rebounding action. That's a big foul for two reasons. It's the fifth team foul, but it's the third foul on Robinson. 
And we're going to have an Otter Valley timeout. And there were not a lot of timeouts taken in that first half. So now I will get you, since I'm on the Otter Valley huddle already, I'll stay here and give you the Otter Valley roster for this 2006-2007 season. Ross Jacobowski wears number five. Eli Christiana wears number 11. Dustin Hutchinson wears 12. Zero tonight is Grant Jacobowski. Corey Robinson is 15. Justin Lertola is number 20. Derek Quinville, or Quinneville, I'm sorry, is 22. Tom Markowski, 24. Cameron Clark, 30. Alex Sinkowitz, 33. I don't have the numbers. These gentlemen on the roster, Jeff Jackson, Andrew Merluzzi, and Connor Quigley. So that was a very well taken on their valley timeout as they have come out here and sputtered offensively, even though they've only lost two points off their halftime lead. Standard will take the ball, and Honor Valley's going to go full court press. They're trying to deny Denny the ball and force Reed to become the point guard and break it, the press, and set up the offense. That's Grant Jacobowski in there, number. That's Ross Jacobowski, number five. I'm sorry, this is Grimes with the basketball to Denny. Inside, up, and foul shots coming up. Reed becoming a big part here of the equation. Aaron Reed, 22. Yeah, that's also the sixth team foul, the second foul on Markowski, but Reed now with a chance to trim into that 11 point lead. Actually, he can cut it down to less than double digits here with a couple made free throws. And he'll get that shot to drop. And all of a sudden, it's 28 18. And Lertola coming in for Robinson. Robinson going to sit down with those three fouls. And Reed's second attempt coming up. And the lefty will fire away. Nope. Rebound. Yes. Offensive rebound by Schneider. Nobody boxed him out. And it becomes a three-point play the hard way. 28-20 now. Honor Valley's lead has been trimmed from 13 to 8 since halftime ended. Jacobowski trying to make something happen. Drives and dishes off. Oh, the penetration was the key. Dribble penetration, drew the defense to him, and then dished the ball off for the bunny. They needed it. First points of the second half coming with 235 left. And standard on a fadeaway, no good. Dennehy up, too strong off the glass. Another offensive rebound and a putback. I believe it was Grimes this time as they were just ruthless on the glass. And we've got ourselves a 30-22 game. Honor Valley has held the lead most of this basketball game. But for Haven coming out looking a little more charged up here as Jacobowski dribbled on the baseline, got bumped, and we're going to have the foul called on for Haven. That is the first foul of the second half on Fairhaven. It was on Keith Schneider. So Honor Valley in the blue uniforms with that eight point lead. They've got the basketball and Lortola will work it around to Jacobowski and they get a body out there on him this time. It was Reed out there to guard him. We're in the championship game of the MSJ tip off tournament. MSJ won the consolation game over Montpelier rather handily. And they got it. Again, what happened? This time it was Grant Jacobowski with the dribble penetration, drew the defense to him, and then dished it off. It's that dribble jump stop that the fans kind of react to like a travel, but it's completely a uh, basketball move, legal basketball move. Grimes to Reed. He'll kick it back out. Now they're trying to penetrate themselves. Sealed off. There's Standard. Steps toward the basket and fall. Jump ball called. No fall at all. On a jump ball. Robinson coming in for Ryder Valley now, number 15. He's going to replace Hutchinson, number 12. You see Dustin Hutchinson coming off. And with a 10 point lead, Ryder Valley will have the ball with a minute 20 to go in the third quarter. Jacobowski to Jacobowski, the younger to the elder. And now this is the. Got, got the hand check right there. Got Reed, got beat baseline, and reached out and grabbed a hold of him. I'll tell you, that's, that's a nice asset to have. Two Jacobowskis that when your offense kind of goes flat, they can be creative and drive and, and make scoring opportunities and pick up falls and draw the defense to them and dish off the basketball. Just tremendous natural instincts on the court. Lertola, that's a running one-hander. It's going to drop by that rim. It was very friendly to Markowski. 
of Otter Valley. She makes it 34, 22, lead back to 12 now. Had Trunk, remember, to eight. Grimes to Reed, to the bucket. Won't drop, ball comes out. Jacobowski on the run. Picked up by Lertola on the trail. He's gonna go all the way in and double clutch. Leaves it on the rim. Ball fought for, taken out of there by Schneider, I believe, got it. Yeah, it was Schneider for Faven with the basketball. Got the rebound and gets it out to Denny. He wanted to go to Grimes. The defense stepped out on him. Schneider with the ball now on top of the arc between circles, actually. Defense sagged off him. He drives the hold, tries to run one. Header is tipped up and in. I'll tell you, one difference in Fairhaven, definitely in the second half, has been they have been pounding the glass here. They've been getting a lot of second and third chances, something they were not getting in the first half of play. Ten points, the difference, Fairhaven. Oh, there's that penetration by Jacobowski. So Otter Valley withstands the initial run in the third quarter by Fairhaven. They changed up a little strategy from being patient on the perimeter to set those creative guards loose. And they have a 36-24 lead heading into the fourth quarter of the championship game from the Common Avenue Gym at MSJ. Standard in Fairhaven will have the ball here. They needed a run early in the fourth quarter. We have eight minutes of basketball left. And again, I'll hang her out till they hand out the uh, hardware, the trophies. In this game brought to you by Jerry Munger. And Swish. That's a two-pointer. That's a good way to get things going. That was Standard stepping out there and draining it. Ten-point lead, 36-26. Otter Valley with the lead and the ball, and Jacobowski with the basketball. Both Jacobowski's in the game, Ross and Grant both. This is a Lertola with the basketball right now, number 20. Grimes back defensively, 25. That's Robinson had the touch, went to Jacobowski. He looked for the flash, it didn't happen. They come back around Lertola, work it to Jacobowski on the right elbow. They're back to being that very patient on the perimeter. There's the penetration and the offensive tip by Robinson didn't happen. Hutchinson also involved in the play and here comes Otter Valley with a chance to go down below the double digit deficit. Oh, Schneider had everybody in the air and decided to go to Standard and he's heating up. That's a three ball, 36, 29. Fair Haven within seven now. Jacobowski with the basketball. Goes down to Robinson, back to Jacobowski. Trying to step inside the defense. Everybody sees the four white jerseys there. Three point shot, good. And what did I tell you, huh? For a doofus, I get lucky. Fairhaven just hit a three pointer and one of the Jacobowski men came down and answered it. Just like in the first half, there's a steal and the finish. No, he couldn't get the finish. He's, yeah, got a foul. Jacob Bowski with the steal, couldn't get the finish, but then the hustle down the other end of the court. And it's gonna be possession on the baseline. That's only the third team foul. Nobody was following the act of shooting there. But every time Fairhaven's put together a little run, one of the Jacob Bowskis have hit a three. That might have actually been tipped. Rutola shot. So it comes down to Dennehy. He'll get to midcourt, get slowed down by Jacobowski, and he'll swing the ball around to the right elbow to Schneider. Schneider to Grimes. Grimes is hit from outside. He had a three pointer. This is Reed. Yeah! Three pointer for Reed. And all of a sudden, the offenses are just kicking the door open and starting to score at will here. 39 32, Otter Valley. Lertola. This is Jacobowski, this is the younger one, Grant. Back to Lertola to Grant Jacobowski. There's Ross Jacobowski, back to Lertola. This is where Otter Valley got in a little trouble at the start of the third quarter. They became very passive. When they started to attack near the end of the third quarter, they were able to get the lead back up in the double digits. 5.23 to go in the basketball game. Fairhaven down only seven, can afford to be very patient here defensively, with or without a shot clock. And Jacobowski off the mark this time, and Dennehy with the basketball. Now see on that last possession, they had had such success of dribble penetration, and they elected not to have it there, and they took a shot that became a turnover, and that's gonna be blocked out of bounds by Robinson. As Markowski comes into the ball game for Otter Valley, he shall replace Grant Jacobowski. 
Stannard on the baseline for Fairhaven, looking to get the ball in play. There's the lob, the Schneider travel. Yeah, kind of got caught between a foot, a movement, and a thought. And with 4.53 to go, the Otters in those blue uniforms. Look at Jacob Bowski there, he got inside, missed it, and Robinson with the putback. But Jacob Bowski drew three defenders to him, which means nobody was there to block out. Robinson, and he took full advantage of it, going hard to the glass and then getting the finish. 41-32 Honor Valley. Up and no. Rebound fought for, wrestled for, and taken control of by Honor Valley. Markowski had it tipped away, gets control of it, goes into the front court, he's going all the way. Got it. Oh yeah. Nobody stepped in front of him and he took it all the way and I will follow Fairhaven over to their huddle. I have yet to have an opportunity to read you their roster. We'll take a peek inside there at their huddle. It's a full timeout, so I'll get situated and seated down. And I'll read you their roster for the 2006-2007 season. Fairhaven has Mike Gonzik, number 10. Sam Standard, number 13. 14 is Tyler Condit. Chris Bashaw is number 20. Aaron Reed, 22. Joel Hernandez, number 23. Morgan Dennehy is 24. Alex Grimes, 25. Jess Taggart, 30. Keith Schneider, 31. And Justin Severance is number 32. So they were able early on in the second half to get the lead down to eight. They were able to get it down to seven here early in the fourth quarter. Lead now at 43-32, Honor Valley for Haven. Needing to put on a sustained run in the championship game of the MSA tip-off tournament. For Haven in the white uniforms, Honor Valley in the blue in case you're just turning on the television. We're changing the channel and we'll pick the basketball up on that back line where it'll become Fairhaven basketball. The Slaters, Alex Grimes will bring the ball into play to Dennehy. Jacobowski with some soft pressure in the back court. That is Ross Jacobowski, number five. There's Standard. He's had a big fourth quarter. They'll swing it around, dump it inside. Dennehy posting up, trying to the hole. Too strong, actually. Ball tipped around. Robinson with the rebound. Also coming in for Fairhaven was Taggart, number 30. He saw some action in that first half. Was very effective. He's back in there now for the Slaters. Standard moving those feet. Boy, you see him just watch, watch, watch intensely. Good defense there by Standard. This is Hutchinson to the hole, and they're going to count up basket. Oh, yeah, you can see basket's good, and that's going to become a chance for a three point play by the Otters. So they go up 45 32, and Dustin Hutchinson at the line. Made the basket, got fouled, and he's going to be shooting that one free throw. Mm, yeah, he got it. 46 to 32. The Otters reestablished now their largest lead, 14 points on the night. That's Reed. He popped out, and Lertola fouled him defensively. Grimes, there's the man down inside. Then he turns, fires off the glass. Tough shot. He got it. That's Jacobowski, Ross Jacobowski, number five. Crosses the timeline and he'll find Lertola, center circle. Lertola wanted to go back and fake the pass to Jacobowski, gave it to the other side and that's up and no. Good look, jump ball. As Robinson ties up Reed and it's going to be, should be Blue Basketball, I believe. That's what we have, Mother Valley with the basketball. 258 away from claiming the 2006 championship trophy. Lertola will pull it out. Now the foul situation team-wise is Fairhaven has only four team fouls. So they've got a couple to give here if they want to try to get possession back. And there's a foul on Reed as they post it up Robinson on Reed. That's a good matchup right there for Honor Valley to go to. Ball on the baseline, Honor Valley runs that box play, gets it into Hutchison or Latola. He'll swing the ball back around to Jacobowski. Jacobowski being guarded by Dana. He and is it going to be a steal? 
Yes, it'll come up to Grimes' hands, and Grimes will put the brakes on. Look for the trailer. Dennehy, he'll launch the three ball in front rim it and goes out of bounds. And Fairhaven did not take advantage that time of the turnover. They came settled for the off balance, low percentage outside shot. Yeah, got some hand checking going on there. Jacobowski is just so explosive. You've got to get that. You can't get so close to him because he'll just burn you going by you. You've got to be able to move those feet to get back. And then he will pick up his fourth foul on that play. Big loss right there. They'll bring Hernandez in for Dennehy. And also coming in is number 21, Christian Doran. So Doran in for Fairhaven. And we have a timeout call with just 2.19 to go. And I believe it's going to be a full timeout. So I'll go back and we'll read the uh, Otter Valley roster to you now as we'll let them get situated, get seated down with their head coach, Bob Walsh. And for that Otter Valley roster, we have Ross Jacobowski, number five, Eli Christiana, number 11, Dustin Hutchinson is number 12, zero tonight. Grant Jacobowski, he couldn't find his jersey number 13, so for tonight he's zero. Corey Robinson's 15, Justin Lertola is 20, Derek Quinneville is number 22, Tom Markowski's 24, Cameron Clark 30, and Alex Sinkowitz for his 33. Guys, I don't have numbers for, but are on the roster, Jeff Jackson, Andrew Merluzzi, and Connor Quigley. So again, in the third and then the fourth quarter, Fairhaven made a run, but Iron Valley able to respond like they did in the first half to that run. So just 219 left, each team with 16 fouls. And you can see Hernandez on the ball defensively. They're able to get it in, no problem. Honor Valley in the blue uniforms. They'll swing it around to Jacobowski. Jacobowski working against Hernandez to pull it back out. Now, with a double digit lead and time at two minutes right now, you can be patient without having to dribble penetrate. You can hold the ball, milk the clock. All right, like this. They try to attack it, ball block comes down to Reed. Reed will bring it in the front court, go behind the back, get to the arc, dump it to the cutter, and red and stole away by Jacobowski. So they change turnovers here. And Lertola being guarded by Dorn. Almost you think that might favor the quicker Lertola to take the dribble penetrate beyond. But like I said, with a minute and a half to go, they can force with no shot clock for Avon to come out and play them and foul them, send them to the line. There's a foul right there. And it should be the one and one. And coming back in Tyler Kahn at number 14 for Fairhaven. He's coming in now. And yeah, it should be the one and one. Jacobowski going some calisthenics before his shot. And also coming in now is Godzik, Mike Godzik, number 10. He'll replace Sam Standard with a minute 27 to go for Fairhaven. So Jacobowski at the line, front end of one and one, up by 12, 46-34. Nope, usually very reliable. And Godzik tied up by Robinson, and I lost track possession. It's going to be Fairhaven basketball. So Grimes will take the ball out of bounds, and I'm looking over. I want to see what defensive alignment that Annabelle came out in. As Hutchinson back in the ball game, number 12 for Otter Valley. This is Godzik with the ball, killed the dribble and finds Grimes on the cut. Nice pass, step, Doran left it on the rim. Rebound, will be possessed. Condit fouled. Yeah, Grant Jacobowski will pick up the foul and two shots coming up. And this is what Fairhaven needs to get back in the game. Clock is stopped, now they have an opportunity. Condit does to get up points here without the clock moving. Then I'll give them a chance on a made free throw to go and set up their press, which I'm assuming that's what they're going to go to with just 70 seconds left in the basketball game. Ooh. Number 11 coming in for Otter Valley is Eli Christiana, and then for Fairhaven, number 20 is Chris Basha. And Otter Valley in control right here in this championship game. Very patient kind of is, and nope. He followed it up, kept the ball alive, and Otter Valley will dribble out the pack with it. Jacobowski to Jacobowski, up and can't get the finish, and Robinson kept it alive. 
Robinson kept the ball alive by hustling down the floor. And I believe Fairhaven, yeah, Fairhaven had the ball in contact with them while they were out of bounds. So Honor Valley will have it into Hutchinson from Jacobowski. Now Jacobowski with the basketball. We'll go to Robinson. There's the drive the fall. Just took it right into the uh, double team and Robinson heading to the line to take a couple shots here with 54 seconds left before they'll hand out the championship trophy. And right now it's looking like it's going to be a blue trof trophy for Honor Valley. And Robinson shots up and a little off the mark. And coming in for Otter Valley will be number 22, Derek Quinneville. Now, I originally called it Quinville, but there's a double N and an extra E in there, so I'm going to go Quinneville. And believe me, I'll hear about it if I'm wrong. And Robinson will get that one, 47 to 34. Now, Otter Valley, 50 seconds away from winning their first MHA tip off tournament in school history. And that would have come here and Played very impressive basketball for two games. Good way to start the season. And the ball went out of play and rolled down that little hallway alleyway. Got a 30 second timeout. With 41 seconds to go. And quickly again, that Fairhaven roster has Mike Godzik, number 10, Sam Standard, number 13, Tyler Kahn at 14, Chris Basha. 20, 22 is Aaron Reed. Joel Hernian is 23. Morgan Dennehy, 24. Alex Grimes, 25. Jess Taggart, 30. 31, Keith Schneider. And Justin Severance, 32. And Otter Valley. Again, I think key to it was they were able to answer every little run that they even put together. 41 seconds and Robinson. We'll get it to Jacobowski. Jacobowski with the crossover. Jacobowski going to take it right in. Yeah. Cut the foul on Dorn. Two shots coming up for Jacobowski. And that was Ross Jacobowski, number five. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got the wrong. That's zero. That's Grant Jacobowski. And they look just alike. And they both shaved tonight, which makes it even harder. And he'll get that one to go in 48 34. And. Justin Severance coming in now for Fairhaven, number 32, seeing his first action of the evening. And no, one of two, ball tipped around by Robinson and Jacobowski will have it. Up and there's the finish. And that's 50 to 34, 16 point lead with 20 seconds to go. And Otter Valley is going to be the champion of the tournament in 2006. And that's going to be picked up by Hernandez, stolen away. Jacobowski gets it up and over the front of the rim, 52 to 34. And Godzik will dribble it into the front court, and that's the buzzer. And Otter Valley will defeat Fairhaven 52 to 34. Tell you what, that is a good looking Honor Valley team. We'll get the handshakes and then we'll have the trophies handed out. And, uh, and Fairhaven had some very good moments in there and they looked good as a team. And it's one of those things where Honor Valley was the better team tonight, but things are looking good for the season for Fairhaven. They're very athletic. They have a very, very good coach. So Honor Valley defeating Montpelier, then Fairhaven. MSJ won the consolation game earlier tonight. So what they're going to do is hand out the second place or runner-up trophy first here. And it'll go to Fairhaven. So what, what they usually do is either call out the team or the captains. That's uh, Dick Densmore, president of the MSA Athletic Association. Yeah, and Fairhaven coming out as a team now. Now, I know they're disappointed, but this was just to get to the finals was an excellent effort. So Fairhaven will have the runner-up trophy for 2006. Yeah, 
Now Honor Valley will come out, they'll get the trophy, and they are the champions. And there you go, as they'll hoist it as a team, that's a great shot to leave on. Jerry Munger bringing you this high school basketball game. As always, saying get out there, support your student athletes, and always take Munger vision with a grain of salt. <laughs>